Hello, today we're talking about neuroscience and the most recent research on how the brain works with innovation. Another word for innovation is creativity. There are some people on our teams in our lives that are more creative and tapped into it than others. Uh, so you're gonna receive a nano tool to work through with everything that we're going through step-by-step step, as well as a measurement tool to use with your teams to assess who's the most creative. The good news is all of us can get this process moving with our brains. Uh, some of the tricks. Have you ever had an aha moment in the shower? There's a reason for that. Okay, so there's a situation. We're thinking about it. It's kind of puzzling and stressing us out. We're not sure what to do. We take a shower, we go for a walk, we paint the fence, and there's that aha moment that happens. Um, so the brain is often at most creative when it's not working on a specific problem. Uh, so that time, that downtime that doesn't seem so productive, actually it can be. Um, unplug. So we talk about stress. What reduces stress for us? Exercise, uh, focusing our mind, stimulate creative thinking. Um, in nature, nature really just helps us find a place of calm where we're not so distracted um, and we're focused on what really matters. Um, and something that's not mentally taxing on us. Just think about energy. We're burning a lot of energy when we're sitting there thinking about the problem, focused on it, talking with other people. How are we going to solve this? And we're not burning so much energy when we're just relaxed and doing something enjoyable. And then our brain uh, just naturally is processing things in the background. Now, this isn't my opinion. This isn't my experience. This is neuroscience. Socializing with others boosts activity in the brain's exploration system. So and encourage yourself and your teams to hang out. Have frequent social events. Create space where people can bump into each other over coffee or tea. Uh, neuroscience uh, shows that putting together teams of creatives makes sense. Some people are going to be more innovative than others. Uh, so we've talked about some things to help the brain be creative. There is an alternative uses test and it asks individuals uh, to come up with as many uses as possible for common household objects. And it's in a limited time and it engages the brain's creativity network. And that might help us to select employees for the right teams. Uh, just identify innovators and effectors uh, to see who you have and how you can best organize. How is this used in reality? LinkedIn CEO Jeff Weiner encourages walking during the workday, even walking meetings. Uh, when I was a mental health therapist, I would take walks with clients. Uh, when I worked with teenagers, I would take the basketball and play the game of horse. And so I'd be interacting with them as we were talking. Um, some uh, of my work was with court order teenagers to therapy. So they weren't really there because they wanted to be there. And I wanted to make it as much fun as possible. I didn't have this data at the time, but I can tell you it worked. I saw amazing connection um, and results. So that is actually done currently. Um, stepping away and removing ourselves from technology and other distractions. And it may seem unproductive away from the desk, but that's when we'll come up with those best ideas. Um, everyday activities, Google Global CCO Lars Bastholm advises vacuum the house, get an elliptical at the gym, paint a fence, anything that will allow your brain to work in the background. That is productive time. Meditation is credited by a growing number of business leaders as an integral tool for creativity. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff says it allows him to take a step back, clear his mind, and make room for new ideas. 
a state he calls beginner's mind. Uh, so there's different examples that you can read through. Uh, you um, may even want to have a mealtime. IDEO has soup Fridays, tea and cookies on Tuesdays, Virgin Al Airlines, um, outings to support sporting and other events. And, and it goes on and on. So read through these and see what is gonna work for you, for your team, uh, what's gonna spark some interest. Have people take this alternative uses test, which is really interesting, and grow the innovation on your team according to neuroscience.